Hello dear students, I Udit Pandey and in this channel Tech with Udit, you will get every knowledge about tech. So what is tech? Tech means technology and technology has a link to science. This channel, you will get all the knowledge about the technology. So this lecture is basically for the B.Tech. Bachelor of Technology, first year student and as well as second year student of EC Electrical. So in the past lecture, in the previous lecture, I have discussed about the oscillator. What is oscillator and what is the criteria who satisfied this is oscillator or not. So in this lecture, we will discuss, we will discuss, yeah, this is the receipt, what are oscillator and bar Hossen criteria and types of oscillator. All the three topics we have discussed in the previous lex lecture, so I request to you if you are if you watch if you are watching this video so you must be completed the part one of this lecture which is basically which has basically covered what are the oscillator barkhausen criteria and types of oscillator so in this part we will discuss rc phase shift oscillator and winbridge oscillator so what is RC phase shift oscillator definition? An RC phase shift oscillator is a sine wave oscillator that uses a resistor, capacitor, feedback network to achieve a 180 degree phase shift which combines with an inverting amplifier for sustained oscillator. So I am going to discuss about the RC and Winbridge oscillator. So this is the type of RC oscillator where you will see the combination of R and C, resistor and capacitor. So this is the RC phase shift oscillator. Uh, yeah, the concept of the RC phase shift oscillator. It uses three RC sections each gives 60 degree phase shift total 180 degree phase shift from rc network amplifier provides additional 180 degree and total phase shift is of 360 degree or 0 degree so it satisfied the barkhausen criteria so what is the barkhausen criteria criteria i have discussed about the barkhausen criteria in the previous lecture so I aapse request karta hu ki aap yadi is video ko dekh rahe hain to usse pehle aap part 1 ko zarur dekhein tabhi aap samajh payenge ki oscillator hota kya hai aur kaun si condition hoti hai ki jo satisfied karti hai ki yah ek perfect aur sustained oscillator hai aur nahi hai this is the circuit diagram of rc phase shift oscillator so here in this circuit diagram, I will discuss about what is the main concept of the 0 degree, 180 degree phase shift. So here in the RC phase shift oscillator, a use of inverting amplifier. You as you as you know as you know that in the inverting configuration of amplifier, what we, we will get in the inverting configuration of the operational amplifier amplifier we will get at the output of 180 degree phase shift so in the rc phase shift oscillator what we need to do we need to create a 180 degree phase shift in the feedback path so here you can see we have the combination of c and r this is the first section and next section 
this one is in S section and this one is in S section. So here you can see each part is each part each part of the section is provide the phase shift of 60 degrees plus 60 degree plus 60 degree. So the sum of the all the sections is equal to 180 degree. So this is the inverting amplifier. You can here you can see this is the inverting amplifier. So the output of the uh, the output of an inverting amplifier is provides 180 degree phase shift. So this is the 180 degree phase shift and when you when we combine both the section like the 180 degree plus 180 degree so it will make 360 degree phase shift so here you can see uh, i give the feedback to the to the input of this amplifier so yaha hum dekh sakte hain ye mera 180 degree ka phase shift hai aur c r c r c r ka maine r c r c ka maine teen section liya hai aur each will provide the phase shift of 60 degree 60 degree 60 degree so it makes 180 degree so when i combine the output and the feedback pass so it will create the total phase shift of 360 degree so i can say 360 degree or zero degree or full cycle full cycle means it satisfied the barkhausen criteria what barkhausen criteria said whenever we have the signal in the input so what we need to do we need to do the phase shift of zero degree it must be zero degree or 360 degree so it satisfied the condition so i can say this one is the perfect or sustained oxidator so this is the formula for the rc phase shift oscillator where F is equal to 1 upon 2 pi RC under root 6. So, what is R? R is resistant and C is capacitance. And the applications of RC phase shift. Audio generators mein hum iska use karte hain. Function generators mein hum iska use karte hain. Low frequency sine wave generators mein bhi hum iska use karte hain. Now we have the another oscillator which is Wien bridge oscillator. Wien bridge oscillator. In the RC phase shift oscillator, we will use we will use of <coughs> the inverting configuration of the operational amplifier. But in this part of the oscillator, we will use the non-inverting configuration of the operational amplifier so what is wind bridge oscillator a wind bridge oscillator is a low distortion sine wave oscillator that uses a bridge network made of resistors and capacitors along with an operational amplifier so the concept of the wind bridge oscillator uses a bridge of one series rc and one parallel RC. Zero phase shift at response and positive feedback and automatic gain control AGC stabilize amplitude. So here what you will see, you can see we use of the non-inverting uh, non amplifier. Yeah. So this is the this is the circuit diagram of the wind bridge oscillator so here what i applied i applied the output yeah here you can see i applied the noise of the operational amplifier at the 
positive. It means this amplifier is working on the non-inverting configuration. So what is what is the output of non-inverting amplifier? Non-inverting amplifier ka output hamesa hame zero degree phase shift dega. So aap dekhenge yahan par maine ek R3 yani maine negative terminal pa yani jo iska non-inverting terminal hai maine usko connect kiya hai ek resistor se aur usko ground kiya hai. Iske baad maine R4 yani एक फीडबैक रेसिस्टर लिया है जिसको मैंने कनेक्ट किया है आउट से बट मैंने यहां नॉन इनवर्टिंग टर्मिनल पे नॉइस को अप्लाई किया है तो यहां पर मेरा फेस चिपटे थी मैं यहां यदि मैं यहां मेरा सिग्नल लाइक वी कैन अज्यूम बिकॉज वी डोंट अप्लाइड वी डिड नॉट अप्लाई दिस सिग्नल इन दिस सेक्शन इन दी ऑक्सीटर सो we can assume like this signal is of like this so at the output what we will get we will get the same signal of zero degree phase shift so here i applied the v out i uh, i connected the v out to to a rc which is in this series combination rc and this one is in the parallel combination so that will make the wind bridge oscillator to ye pehli cheez to aap yahan dekhenge ki ye hamara kya kar raha hai bark hausen criteria ko fulfill kar raha hai lekin uske baad hum kya kar rahe hain hum ek rc hum ek rc ka series combination le rahe hain aur sath hi mein hum ek rc ka parallel combination le rahe hain aur usko connect kar de rahe hain non inverting टर्मिनल में अब हम देखेंगे कि इसका एप्लीकेशन क्या है सो फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दी फॉर्मूला सो दी फॉर्मूला ऑफ दी फॉर्मूला फॉर दी विन ब्रिज ऑक्सीटर इज एफ इक्वल टू वन अपॉन टू बाई आर सी सो दी एप्लीकेशन ऑफ विन ब्रिज ऑक्सीटर दिस इज द इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ एनी ऑक्सीटर बिकॉज हमें चाहिए क्या है हमें मेन चीज ये चाहिए कि ये ऑक्सीटर हम इस ऑक्सीटर का हम यूज कहाँ करेंगे आरसी फेस शिफ्ट का हम यूज कहाँ करेंगे विन ब्रिज ऑक्सीटर का हम यूज कहाँ करेंगे तो हमारा मेन इंपोर्टेंट चीज है एप्लीकेशन सो फर्स्ट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस वन इज ऑडियो फ्रीक्वेंसी जनरेटर्स एंड लेव लेव वे फॉर्म सोर्सेस प्रिसीजन टेस्टिंग टूल्स एंड एजुकेशनल किट्स so these are the application of wind bridge oscillator so ab hum dekhenge iska sarans kya hai iski summary kya hai to so, rc mein humne kya dekha simple and useful for low frequency and wind bridge oscillator mein humne kya dekha better quality and more stable in comparison to rc phase shift both satisfied the bark hausen criteria so in the next part part 3 i will discuss about the lc yani l means inductor c means capacitor to so, wahan do components ka use hoga ek to l ka use hoga ek c ka use hoga jo ki tank circuit mein hum uska use karenge aur jo hame output par ek perfect or sustained oscillator denge so in the next part we will discuss about this one so thanks for watching and like share and subscribe